So we're going to uh, talk about the experiment uh, one. And the first part of this experiment is, is about the uh, high pass filter. So it's a passive high pass filter. And it's a very simple circuit, which has uh, one capacitor and one resistor in series. And also uh, the, uh, the voltage, input voltage source is in AC mode. So to uh, check out the high pass filter characteristics, you need, to uh, you need to check it out with the body analyzer because uh, with the body analyzer, you can um, understand the gain versus frequency characteristics for this filter. So how do I connect this uh, circuit? So in here you can see uh, the input source. Uh, I have connected the input source. You, you see the green wire in here. Uh, I have connected the input source from the AO0. You can see the AO0 in here, the analog output zero. So whenever you are going to uh, give the input voltage source, you need to use these analog outputs, either zero or one. So I've used uh, the zero port of the analog output, and then I connected it to the input, uh, connected it as, a, as an input source. So then I have connected the capacitor, the positive leg of the capacitor with this input source. And then the negative leg of the capacitor, it's connected with the, uh, with the resistor, with the, with, the, with the one of the legs of the resistor in here. And then this resistor is connected to the, uh, the other leg of the resistor is connected to the uh, ground. So for the analog output, you can see the analog output zero in here and it also has a ground port, right? So you need to connect the ground port uh, to these, uh, to the common ground of your circuit. So let me assume uh, that the AI, A ground, I mean the ground, common ground in here is this one, A, G, and D. So I have connected it for the, for the input source in here. And then I need to check out the body analyzer. To do this, I have to uh, connect these uh, input and output to the uh, to the analog input channel here. so you can see the analog input channel in here this one so the this one is analog input zero positive zero negative one positive one negative that means this analog input has two channels one is with the zero positive and zero negative and another one is one positive and one negative so and another one, it's, it's the ground, it's the ground port. So whenever you're going to use these uh, analog input, sorry, you can see the analog input in here. Remember guys, whenever you're going to use the analog input, you need to connect the, uh, I mean, for the body analyzer, you need to connect the zero positive for the input, zero positive and uh, zero positive for the input and one positive for the output. Okay, so I think it's uh, it's fixed on the uh, on the MyDAC device. Uh, if you, I think you can change it, but mm, you can um, test it whether uh, is there positive or one positive. Uh, either them you can whether you can use them for uh, output and input respectively. Okay, so. Um, uh, right now I have used the zero positive in here for the input. You can see the zero positive that these orange wire in here, it's connected to the, uh, the input source in here, connected to the input source. And then, then the zero negative, it's connected to the ground. So remember guys, whenever you're going to, uh, connect these channels, you have to put uh, the zero negative to the ground because zero negative it's uh, I mean zero positive and zero negative it's it's going to differentiate the voltage I mean it's going to give you the difference between zero positive and zero negative terminal in here so that's why we need uh, I mean we need the full voltage from these uh, input source right you don't need to you know subtract subtract any kind of uh, you know any amount of voltage 
So that's why we're going to connect the zero negative to the ground. You see this orange wire in here, it's connected to the zero negative to the ground. So you don't need to, uh, I mean, subtract, subtract anything from the zero positive. So then you have Uh, you have connected the zero positive right now and your negative is connected to the ground. So what about the output? Okay, so for the filter circuit we have, to check out the output, you need to uh, connect, you need to connect your uh, AI1 positive to the, uh, to the resistor, I mean, to the one of the, uh, I mean, the leg of the resistor in here. Because the other leg of the resistor, it's grounded. As you can see uh, from the circuit, we have the negative input source of the voltage and, the uh, and the, the, this leg of this uh, resistor, they're connected to the ground. So that's why I connected it. Um, this leg is connected to the ground. This black wire is a ground. You can see this black wire in here. And also the one negative is connected to the ground because we need to uh, use the is uh, always we need to use the negative uh, ports to the ground okay so in here you can see the to check out the voltage across the resistor sorry to check out the output in the body analyzer uh, for the output you need to connect the one positive to the leg of this resistor okay so remember guys, whenever you're going to see the output, whenever you're going to uh, test the output, you need to connect it, you need to connect the port with this wire, with this kind of wire to your uh, desired uh, node. You can say it's a node, right? So the one positive, it's connected to this leg of the resistor where the negative leg of the capacitor is connected to the uh, to the resistor. So now you have also and and the and I have said earlier the one negative it's connected to the ground. Okay, one negative is connected to the ground. How how is it connected to the ground? Because this black wire it's connected to the ground. You see, also. The negative source of the voltage it's connected to the ground. All our all our short circuit, right? In here. So you don't need to worry about the ground. The ground are the grounds are common in here. And then your circuit connection is finished. So we have connected the passive RC filter for uh for showing the high pass. Uh, characteristics of these uh, passive devices so let me check the body analyzer so remember guys whenever you are going to connect the body analyzer body analyzer is a very important part for these experiments you're going to need it uh, in future I mean for the uh, next experiments so these for the body analyzer you must have to connect the input source and then you have to connect the input channel and output channel. Uh, I think it's called, uh, the input channel is called stimulus channel and the output channel is called response channel. So the stimulus channel, remember the stimulus channel is the input. I mean, you need, the input, you need to connect the uh, stimulus channel to the input of your circuit. So we have the input in here from the AO, right? So AO is your input. You must have to connect the AO to your uh, circuit so that it can give the input uh, AC signal, right? AC voltage source. Otherwise, it's not gonna work, okay? So then you have to connect the AO in here, uh, sorry, uh, the AI zero positive to the input. This orange wire, you can see, zero positive it's connected to the zero positive to the input source this one this positive one is the ao and this orange wire it's connected to the 
capacitor and it's the zero positive. What about the zero negative? You need to connect the zero negative to the ground. As you can see, I have connected the zero negative in here. This orange wire is zero negative connected to the ground. Okay? And then for the output, that means for the response channel, you need to connect the one positive, like this, this one, the green wire in here, one positive to the desired node you need to uh, check out. So in here, the resistor, it's uh, this leg of this, re uh, this leg of the resistor uh, is the desired node. So we connect, we have, we, I connected this green wire, uh, you know, across, I mean, uh, in this point, so that we can check out the output. You see the green wire is connected to the one positive of the AI, that means analog input. Remember one positive one and one negative, it's for the response. That means it's for the output. And zero, neg zero positive and zero negative, it's for the stimulus. That means it's, it's for the input. So we have connected the one positive to, the, to this leg and the one negative it's connected to the slag of the resistor so uh remember guys uh for the zero negative and one negative terminals you can see the ports you must have to connect it to the ground as you can see uh this one negative it's connected to the ground because this black wire it's connected to the ground so that's why this orange wire is also connected to the ground similarly you have zero negative connected to the ground in here. Okay, so now it's finished for the body analyzer and you can check it out on the on the on your MIDEC device, the MIDEC device. Let's see what's going to happen. So I have this uh, capacitor which has the value of 0.47 microfarads and the resistor it has the value of Two kilo ohms, so around two kilo ohms. Okay, so let's check out the body analyzer in here. So we have the body analyzer in here, and you can see the uh, output. So in here, there are a lot of uh, parameters. Mm, you can, you know, change it. So in here, you have. 10 start frequency as 10 hertz uh, i mean i think it's good enough to put it on you know on 10 hertz for the starter and then the stop frequency you can see the stop frequency in here it's it's 10k uh, it's the highest i guess for the uh, body analyzer and also you have the steps it's 20 um you can increase it so that you can have a more precise value. But right now, I think 20 steps is enough for this uh, body analyzer. So, and the peak amplitude, you see, the peak amplitude is automatically given from the what? From the AO, that means analog output, okay? And you have a mapping, you can change the mapping in here. This mapping could be linear or logarithmic. So right now I'm using linear scale to you know uh, to understand clearly the point we need to check out on the gain versus frequency curve. So and then you see the you can see the stimulus channel in here, right? The stimulus channel that means the input it's AI zero and the response it's AI one. Okay, and then. When you run it, when you run it, it's going to give you like this. Okay, so if you, you now turn on the cursor, that means if you put the cursor takes on, then you'll find out the exact point for the cutoff frequency. So in here, if you drag the cursor, and you see that this red line you know cross line it's it's it, it'll start from the zero right 
Okay, it will start from zero and you can drag it to this point whenever, wherever you want. So right now we have a gain of 0 0.70, uh, but in, in our case, uh, all the time you need to check out the gain of 0 0.707. It's pretty hard to uh, you know to to get the precise point in here, but still I think it's you know it's enough for us because you have you've got you can see the gain in here. This this one, this gain is 0 0.70, 0 0.70. It's pretty close to 0 0.707, and you can see also the frequency in here. That means it's 177.83 hertz. So you have 177. 0.83 hertz at the gain of 0 0.70 it's pretty close uh, if you calculate uh, with the uh, no, with the formula you have uh, the formula is 1 over 2 pi RC uh, where where I have used R as 2 kilo ohms and C as a 0.47 microfarads so if you calculate, I think it'll, it'll give you around 170. So right now we have got 177.83. It's pretty close. I mean, it's enough for the experiment in here. So you can check it out and you no, know, connect your own circuit and see if it's, um, if it's giving you the same sort of uh, gain versus frequency uh, curve in here. So remember guys, if you increase the steps, there will be more points. You can see there's a lot of points, right? If you, you know, decrease the steps, it'll be, you know, it'll be a few amounts of points in here. So for the precision, you can increase the steps. And if you want to know what's the, you know, what's the peak amplitude of your uh, input voltage source, it's in here it's two volts peak amplitude two volt peak amplitude that means you have four volts peak to peak as input to your circuit in here so you have checked the uh, body analyzer now um, I mean the frequency C means you need to check it out on the body analyzer or you know sometimes you can uh, in the next experiments sometimes we have to use the oscilloscope so we have got the frequency at what frequency does a b equals to 0 0.707 that means we have got 177.83 and then you need to measure the dc voltage of v of t and v a b of t so how do you do that so for that you need to connect the digital multimeter of your uh, MyDeck device. So remember guys, DC voltage means the RMS value in here. As you can see, this is the AC, AC circuit, right? This is a pre, it's, it's an AC circuit and it's a very, and it's a very simple circuit. Uh, but how do you know, how do you get the DC voltage in AC circuit? Well, you can get the DC voltage as RMS value. That means the RMS value is equivalent DC voltage for uh, for uh, for an AC circuit. So you don't need to worry about anything. Just measure the voltage using the multimeter you have across the input and across the capacitor. Okay.